Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we are taking a look at a brand new 2024 R-Pod 107 Classic model. This is a new model for the 2024 lineup. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this thing, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2024 R-Pod 107 Classic model here. And we are currently kind of looking at the back wall of the RV. As you've seen from outside, this is a pretty small RV. Uh, only 15 feet long overall length. But back here on the back wall, we have an electric outlet, which is the ground fault breaker. We have a traditional electric outlet as well. And we have USB charger ports. There's the electric box with the breakers and fuses. You have a window on the left here that does actually open. Over here, you have a little AC system built in and a little uh, closet rod holder there that'll actually fold down out of the way if you're not using it. Your mattress or bed area here will actually flip into what they call sofa mode as it currently is in. And you can see in the picture popping up here, what it looks like kind of down into bed mode. Then we have these little flip up tables, one on each side. So you could maybe set a drink or your phone, laptop, um, you know, maybe sit and eat there if you need to. Now let's spin around here and kind of look toward the front of the RV. So kind of sitting in our seat here, looking forward, we have our 32 inch uh, 12 volt connects TV. You have some storage on the left of the TV area there and a little bit on the right. And then the TV will actually swing out. It's on a swing arm. Again, you can see in that picture popping up with extra storage behind there. And we got a really nice graystone 31 inch electric fireplace. Some storage below that. Propane leak detector down here on the right. And then you have a freshwater tank gauge along with a water pump switch as well and a porch light switch. But overall, nice little unit here. Lightweight, easy to tow. Little vent fan up there. All right, now I want to head outside. I want to show you around the outside of this thing real quick. Let's check it out. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2024 R-Pod Classic 107 model here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, this has a removable moonshade awning. So basically it kind of has a few, what I would refer to as tent poles that kind of help pull it up in the air and kind of give it a little bit of a dome shape. Couple poles that come down so you could stake it into the ground. And then it has some suction cups that allow it to stick to the side of the RV. And it actually comes with a couple other suction cups as well. So depending on where you are, you know, camping at, one suction cup, I believe, is a little bit larger and stronger than the other. But overall, it does a really nice job so far. You have a white fiberglass exterior with some vinyl graphics on it. You have the white fiberglass also attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luan backer. So it is going to hopefully last you a lot longer. Little storage area right here. You can see down below here, one of your four heavy duty scissor stabilizer jacks. And also enclosed underbelly here. Now on the classic model, you have a traditional leaf spring axle. Window in the entry door, screen door as well. Next to your entry door here, you're gonna see a couple little stickers here. One just reminding you, put down the jacks before you go climbing in and out of it. 
Also, um, the Asdale Composite Material Sticker Advertisement, and then the little Care Camps uh, Foundation as well. Kind of consider checking that out. Over here, you have some weight sticker information here as far as cargo carrying capacity and uh, dry weight as well. We're going to get into that a little more when we get to the other side. You have aluminum wheels, easy lube hubs, drum brakes, traditional street tires on the classic model, where some of their other models are going to have off-road tires. You do have a porch light up here. When you flip the switch one direction, it's amber. You flip it the other direction, it's clear. You have an electric outlet down here, and you can see down below here your spare tire. And there's a little crank coming out the frame right here, so you can crank it down. Now on around to the back, we have a really nice little outdoor kitchen setup. So the door raises up and kind of acts as an awning for you. You have a little mini fridge going on right here. Metal countertop. There is a little flip down thing here to kind of stash some stuff. You have your high rise sprayer faucet, little sink area. There's a light switch back there, a little bit of counter space back there, electric outlet. And you also have some overhead shelf space here. Two burner gas stove top. A stretchable uh, cold water spray port here. That hose supposedly stretches out about 15 feet. You can see down below there the gas line hookup next to that jack. And then you also have a little two inch hitch receiver on the back of here. Now this is not meant to hook a boat or anything like that behind it and tow it. That is just for like a small bike rack hitch or something to maybe take a couple bicycles with you. Over here you can also see your little drain tube for your sink and then there is a fresh water tank drain back there as well. Detachable power cord here that is probably about a 25 or 30 foot cord roughly. It is 30 amp electric service. You do have a cable slash satellite inlet right there. You can also see the back or outside of that uh, wall mount AC system. Now just real quick, popping up a picture of the roof for you so you can kind of see up here. There is a TV antenna up there. There's a crank up and down roof vent up there. And then you also have the vent for your air conditioner up there as well. So pretty simple, not a whole lot of stuff on the roof of this model. Now over here we have your freshwater tank fill, gravity fill freshwater tank. And then there is a drain for it underneath of here as well. And then you have city water inlet and you also have a prep for a side uh, plug-in to allow you to plug in like a ZAMP or GO power solar system that you could buy aftermarket if you're kind of boondock camping. Uh, but you could plug into the side. Now right here we have those important informational stickers. So this bottom one here is your main production data sticker. It tells us our production date. 718 of 23 was when this unit was built. Our model number 107. We have a gross vehicle weight of 3,715 pounds. That's the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number. Then you have your actual axle is 3,500 pound capacity. Um, again, 3715 is axle and hitch combined, and not all the weight sits on the axle. VIN number here as well. Um, they also put tire size, rim size, all that stuff here. But you actually have an actual tire sticker up here as well. ST22575R15 D range tire with a 65 PSI cold rating. So very important to keep up with your tire pressure. Now over here you have your actual dry weight of the RV on this sticker. So this is 1,782 pounds dry is the way it supposedly rolled off the assembly line with an exterior length of 
15 feet. Now stepping back here, you can see the front end is nicely rolled or sloped back here. Um, this thing is not super tall, uh, all the description stuff down below for you. But, you know, height-wise, your SUVs and stuff are not much different in height here. So a lot of that wind hitting off the vehicle is going to roll over top of the RV compared to those big, tall monsters like that one over there. You do have a little bit of diamond plate across the bottom section there. You have a manual tongue jack, heavy-duty safety chain, seven-way barbman wiring plug. You do have a breakaway cable as well. Single 20-pound propane tank underneath that hard cover there. And then there's room for one or two batteries to go on the rack right here, depending on the size of the battery. But overall, a nice, small, lighter weight little RV for people who don't want anything real big. You know, a lot of people could probably take this unit and stick it in their garage on the weeks, days they're not using it and things. You know, kind of hide it from the HOA and just shove it in your garage out of the way. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They're definitely going to save you a lot of money if you're looking for that. Thanks again.